How you doing? All right, calm down. I'm fixing my collar or whatever. Right. It's Saturday and I'm bummed about going back to school, but I really do miss them kids like a little, little bit. Um, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. But I'm here at the town center. It is kind of raining today. And but who wants to stay home? Like why? Why would you ever do that? Home is for sleeping. I'm not gonna tell you again. Um, so the first thing on the itinerary is gonna be to get some knee. After we get something to eat, we're gonna shop till our bottoms drop. <laughs> I don't know where this imaginary money is coming from, but um, all you gotta do is pray for me. That's all, you don't gotta do nothing much. Just close your eyes and whisper a word of prayer. That's the magic money is gonna be deposited into my bank account and I'll have a lot of bags by the time I'm ready to leave here. Right, well, I already told you what to do, so I'm gonna do what I said I'm gonna do. With that being said, I'll see you where I'm going. All right, friends, so I always show y'all when I look on the menu and I pick my items and I show you how beautiful the, uh, the food looks. However, today I'm going to involve you in a decision making. So today now I am craving some really crispy fried fish. And on the menu they have the Alabama farm raised catfish. It says half for eleven forty nine, full for sixteen ninety nine. Knowing myself, I always bring food home to just rotten in the refrigerator, and so I'm gonna go with the half today. They also have tacos, but why would I be eating fish tacos? Tell me. It don't seem right with me or my spirit. They also have fish and chips, which is really what I'm doing. So when she gets back here, I'm going to ask her what's the difference between an Alabama farm raised catfish and fish and chips. Oh, I see it myself. Mm. Silly me. It's a different fish. <laughs> it is a different fish. I saw that. It says bear batter, cod, or fries. That's different. Oh, my God. And they also have malt vinegar, whatever that is. Also, shrimp and grits. Let me tell you something. Just because I'm black does not mean that I enjoy grits. And I'm so happy that people can read the room when they approach you. And people know what they can get away with. So ask me if I'm one of them grits as a side. Ooh, they have hush puppies though. Damn, I just put a tank in my ordinary. Here you go, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I think we're ready. Can I have the Alabama farm raised catfish? The half? The half? Yeah, how much is half? Sorry. No, like how much comes? Like, is it. Okay. So for the full, it's like two or three for the half. Oh. But it comes with two sides. Get the full, you just take it off. Yeah, I'll get the half. Okay, fried like your girl? Uh, fried, please. Okay. Yeah. Fries and coleslaw, okay? Yes. Um, or do you want two different sides? Yeah. Can I have fries and white rice? Fries and rice? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, I'm gonna have the pig too. Alright. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. have the cod and the shrimp and oysters, but instead of oysters, can I get extra shrimp? Oh, it's either shrimp or oysters. Oh, so yeah, yeah just the cod and shrimp then. Cod shrimp? Mm -hmm. And uh. Um, for the cod, fried? Yeah, fried. Shrimp? Yeah, as well. Fries and coleslaw? Um. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, can I go take the menu? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Rob? Thank you. Why was I gonna talk to her in the accent? Mm -hmm. I noticed that. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I better stop. I'm Yo, sure for real. I'm not gonna lie, the salad's a little bit wet. But it sounds like I'm speaking under my breath, so I would stop. I would call thank you for this meal. Ready to be nourishing to my bones. Amen. For you. <gasps> and cut. Let's do it to Andrew. Oh yeah, baby. Imagine if I would have gotten the half, I would have been hungry. <laughs> but they still give hush puppies. Hush your mouth. You heard that? The sales rack. That's where it is. That's where it was.
There are two doors for every. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry. Hi. Oh, hi. Well, I thought it was her. Bye. So for the house. Y'all have seen my double chin. Hi. amazing I just don't know where to start but I really need like house plugins so not gonna lie I'm feeling a little cost for a week to put people in here this smells good huh? uh warm vanilla sugar <laughs> hey guys warm vanilla sugar Okay, open it. So three, fifteen dollars. That's enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all you gotta do now is just donate a hundred dollars to the cause. And I will show you what else we're picking up at store. However, this purchase won't be for me. It'll be necessarily for you. Let me stop. That's how scammers be. <laughs> Anyways, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. I told y'all all you got to do is say a prayer and the money will manifest itself. And it did. And it did. It works every time. I done tried it in the morning. I tried it in the noontime. And I just want to try tonight. <laughs> but, um so far so good you guys if you are looking to buy something for your loved one that's not all that pricey you can go into bed bath and beyond they actually have 550 for fragrances that cost 15 dollars on a regular basis and i just spent 25 dollars buying a hell of a lot of stuff okay come on over come on down get off your high horse and i know covid hit and people still ain't got no money and that's okay all you need is 25 to 30 dollars so you can buy some fragrances for your family members they will greatly appreciate you watch you going you're about to walk into all these people i'm sorry sorry i'm trying to get out your way and then we ended up right in the middle yeah. oh that's all right he's a cheaper hell let me through we're in cali now say hi to my my in my instagram y'all i need to go home say hi christian but yeah, we're out here shopping like we got all the big money. That's where I get the big money from. <laughs> uh, yo. And we'll see, like, everything's going, though, as planned. Um, that's it. You see, every time I stay away from you guys, I come back with nothing to talk about. I feel like I'm so boring right now. But you probably are so in love with my voice and you want to see me and you want to hear me and I want to be there for you. I've been watching a lot of Sopranos and so this is like becoming a thing. <laughs> I did watch three episodes, but you know what? I sat there and I watched a lot of it, okay? A lot of it. I gotta stop. You see my double chin bro? I'm eating. <clears throat> So what could I do? Have you seen mine? <laughs> <laughs> Not even that. Have you seen your brother? <laughs> I mean, come on. Hey, I mean. <laughs> I I'm about to roll on the floor. You didn't recognize me. he would be like, nobody enters. <laughs> <laughs> no, <next>. <laughs> <laughs> Not even no neck, he got too much. Like, nigga needs to donate up here. <laughs> Sorry, babe. If you're watching this, we love you. Okay, sit up, sit up. But I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Look at this thing. It's a smaller size, but the transparency in that uh, strap, how much do you Hola, <laughs> oh, la. la. 
by your brother. Oh my god. Ninety eight dollars though. Oh, that is so fire. Look at this. If I get this, I won't ask for nothing else. No, I'm not gonna lie. I really do like this. You like these? Them chocolate. Them Lemon pepper stepping. <laughs> I am in heaven. This the job. This the job. Oh lord, bro. If I get these, you cannot talk. You can't sit with me. <laughs> this look like my new jacket. Yup. That's her style right there. Oh, you gotta add the camo. <laughs> yeah. She, she subscribes to my channel, Christian. You gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Este también. Oh, la, la. Mm, money. <sighs> Too bad. Too bad I can't do that. Can't afford it. I'm going to start a GoFundMe. People going to start GoFundMe for every damn thing. Hello. Oh, my God. That'll be so lit. If people fund my adventures, I will be everywhere. Yeah. I don't like them because those are not platform. These joints right here, ooh, wee, ooh, ooh, when I step, you better move, get out of my way, yard. 33% <laughs> off original sale, let's do the math. What is it, $67? 67.30%. Let's see the genius, come on. Come on, come on, you got this. 60, wait, what was it? 33% off $67. My bet is that it's a 20, $25 watch. Boy, 24, take out your calculator. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. $24 taken away or it's $24? So if this is $24, I'm buying it no, now. No, $24 taken away. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's right there? $24. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know they what? Were Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't even, don't even don't bother. Even. Don't bother. Yeah. Look at these shots, though. I mean, they're pink. That's nice, but I don't like the... It, it, uh, not even these make it look too bulky. The black looks better in that one. Forty percent off, a hundred dollars is sixty dollars. I bet. Nah, bro, that don't that don't scream I got money. That scream I got laid off. <laughs> these ones are nice, but it's like this looks like I'm childish. This, this looks like I really take my elementary job very seriously. You know, I kind of like the side. You like the side? The fur is baby. I'm dead. Anything platform, I'm there. Tell your brother when he sneaks you off to not a down, not a down, not a down. Oh my eyes deceiving me. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -mm. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna com I'm not gonna comment because I can't afford anything right now. Let me stop. I'm just trying to talk myself out of spending money. What? I want a burnt stock slippers. Spice latte. What size? Can I have a venti? And can I have one shot of espresso, please? Do you want an extra shot or only one shot? An extra shot of espresso. Okay. Yeah. Can I also right. have a refresher? I think the dragon fruit lemonade refresher. What size? A venti as well. Venti. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Uh, grande latte. A grande. Pumpkin spice? No, just. A grande it. latte. A grande latte? Yes, please. All right, anything else? No, that'll be all, thank you. All right, that's gonna be 1737 at the window. All right, thank you so much, have a great one. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I play too much, don't I? No, I got it, nope. <laughs> if there's a question in my heart, I got it. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little over here. <laughs> But you know, so like, uh, I'm just gonna tell you this because we're already done talking. But um, the Bible says, "Children, honor your parents in the law, for it is right." Right? Did you know? Like a verse below that, it says, "Parents provoke your children not to anger." Did you know that? Yeah. See, they always tell you what they want you to hear. They leave out the stuff you need to know. Let me tell you something. For every argument in the Bible, there is a rebuttal. So it is up to you and me and everybody listening to this right now to find out what those rebuttals are. So when people hit you with the word, you tell them stop using it out of context. Mm. See that right there? 
you can't let people dictate your relationship with God. I learned that for myself. People will take the word, they'll smack you upside your head, they'll knock you out on the floor, stomp you on your lowest times. Did you know God loves backsliders? Did you know that? Did you know that God said He's close to the brokenhearted? See, all the people who raising their hand and hooked in the heart of the church, they don't got an inch of God. Let me tell you. All the stuff you see is literally an, uh, the opposite of having a relationship with God. They literally teach you a lie. So, yeah. Anyway, I was having a conversation with my brother-in-law. He's the sweetest person on the planet. But um, my message is for you now. You. You listening. Let me tell you something like life. It's going to chew your up. I was going to say chew your ass up because my cousin watches my YouTube. So, I can't say chew your ass up. But... Life's going to chew your ass up and he's going to spit your ass out. The only thing I guarantee you have a solid like experience on this earth is your relationship with God or knowing him. Your coping skills. Because you need to know how to have those because you're going to have a lot of disappointment. And if you don't know how to cope with it, you're going to kill yourself. I've been there. And um, you. You. Whatever happens, make sure you have you. Because... <laughs> it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> no, I'm trying to be serious, but it's really hard out here for a pimp. And yeah, but I, listen, I am uh, Christian Minosa. I'm sorry, do not follow him on Instagram. I've been through a lot. Okay, like I look, I, that's why I be like dancing and screaming and talking on top of my lungs because who's gonna stop me? You know what I mean? Like who's who's gonna tell me cut it out? Nobody, because the voice that I have now is given to me by God Himself. God gave me my voice. Who's going to take it away? God gave me my feelings. Who's going to take it away? God gave me control. Who's, who I'm going to give it to? Got me messed up. And I didn't know myself. I did stuff. A lot of stuff. I'm not going to tell y'all, but I did stuff. But now that I know me, Christian, please. Please. You have a pencil. You have an eraser. You something gets written in your story, you don't like it, erase it and create a new chapter. telling you that's how i that's how i do it bro and the days that you don't feel like you can go on just fake it till you make it that's what i do shit put on this cap i'm good to go <laughs> shoot i throw on this hat i'm good to go baby where we going shoot how much money you got in the bank account two dollars god will provide honey i'm going i got two miles in my gas tank i'm going where we going i'm going i'm right there no no but you didn't pay these people this month okay and they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait. Nuh uh, I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. But yeah, that's it. Christian, it's raining. You got us over here talking about depressing stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here lowering my tone. I don't talk like this. I don't, I don't talk like that. Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, our latte is gonna taste really good. And I wanted to show y'all, but these people take it forever long. This man up there giving away coffee in a cup. I cannot tell you, my mom, <laughs> we were going through the, the drive through line. She's like, oh, can we keep the cup? You could buy it for $9.99. <laughs> but she was really reaching for it. It's the funniest stuff ever. Anyways, I'll see you at home. Yeah. Okay, beautiful people. I actually got myself a, um, while you were there when I was ordering. It tastes so good. I just know I have to use the bathroom right after. And just be like, I don't buy shipping this day. Everything I buy is for us and it's sensible. Can I show you some? Okay. What is your button, sir? What the hell? Christian, where's the button on this thing? I forgot. Where's the button on it? I thought so. Oh. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Um, I'm going to the house of the Lord. Come on, see. Follow me on Instagram, um, you know, that 
night we got into a car wreck last night november 3rd no november 29th um the story is for a different time okay but the worst part is the after effect like the insurance the claim all that stuff was hitting you at the same time so like <laughs> adulting when you get older make sure make sure make sure you have a stash of money set aside for in case of emergencies like things don't even have to be your fault it's gonna happen like life is inevitable some things you can't control other things are just uncontrollable like literally right and so um like my financial situation right now is okay um it's just it's tied up in a lot of things and one thing i did not make preparation for is no damn accident and so all the extra costs is just really annoying like in order for us to get a tow truck we gotta pay for it in order for us to get a rental car we have to put down a deposit or whatever but the highlight of highlights that happened to me just now was that i called um their partner right the insurance company partner car dealership to give me a rental because the person who hit me their insurance is going to be paying for it and um i called them i'm like well hey i ain't got no money to be spending on unnecessary things such as this because it wasn't my fault so what are y'all trying to do and then they were like oh sorry like there's nothing that we could do blah 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 stores closing mind you i'm calling the claims department for the insurance company and i'm on hold for like 20 minutes 28 minutes altogether it may have been like two hours that i was on hold i got home and i'm still on hold i'm like you know what let me just call directly to the insurance company and then let them transfer me to claim for some magical reason i don't know what kind of buttons they be pressing but it'd be like expedited okay and so that's what i did and immediately i got transferred i was like i know you're lying it was already like five 30 at that time and everywhere is closing at 6 so I'm like yo what's gonna happen blah 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 anyways there is a rental car that's open at 10 p.m. but it's at the airport and I called the location they're the only one opened right like y'all have whatever you got going on partnership shares whatever with the company and so I feel like they should be able to provide whatever I need simple and plain I called them. They're like, oh, sorry, this location does not accept insurance claims. I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't got no money. I don't want to pay no Uber. And I have my life that I need to continue. And I do not have a car. And I live in Texas. So it's like virtually impossible to get around. And then they were like, oh, give me one second while I uh, transfer you to expedited or whatever they said, child. Um, got transferred up there. Lady took down the claim number, all that stuff. I started smelling progress. And I'm like, okay, cool, bing, blah, blah, blah. Oh, the... Um, the reservation time is at 8 o'clock. It is now 6, 6, 40 something. And I was like, oh, you know, yeah, just give us an hour. We'll get there. It's only like 30 minutes away. But I want to, you know, leave time to meet up traffic or whatever, Uber. Because in my area, they're just non-existent. And uh, we get there. And immediately, like, I get turned off because the guy is just kind of like mad uppity. So he's like, oh, um, you got a credit card? Oh, you got this? Oh, okay, because I was going to tell the, um, the Uber don't leave. I'm like, well, idiot. <laughs> if the Uber drops me off, the Uber has to go. I have to order another one in order for me to go home. So whatever you were going to try to do is not going to be, like, effective or whatever. And um, I was like, yeah, well, um, I came in here because my insurance gave me some money so I could get a rental. And he was like, oh, we don't take insurance here. I was like, well, they sent me to this location at this reservation time. Can you at least plug in the numbers that I have here? He's like, oh, no problem. I'll do it for you. Um, but it's still going to say the same thing. And did. It wasn't even him I was mad at anymore. So I was like, okay, whatever. Let me just call them because I know I didn't just spend $22 coming all the way down here for no reason, right? So I called them back. And then the lady like, oh, I don't know who gave you that information. I don't know who set up that claim, but that's not how that works. And that that location do not, it, they don't accept insurance and that's final. And I was like, so what do you suggest that I do? I got no money. I can't go home. You want me to sleep here? Should I be stranded? And I was like, well, my husband's saying, um, can I get a discount on a rental so I can get home? Like, what's the word? 
And she's just like, oh, ma'am, like I said, um, there's nothing that can be done. I'm sorry. I don't know who gave you that information, blah, blah, blah. I was like, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And I understand it might be misdirected energy, but ma'am. I am like, <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm pissed, for lack of a better term. I am pissed, okay? Ma'am, who's going to take responsibility for my $22? I am stranded. I ain't got no money to go back home. What do you suggest? How can I get home? What to do? And she all like, like I said, ma'am, uh, there's nothing that I could do at this point. There's nothing that he could do, blah, blah, blah. I was like, ma'am, you're not understanding. What do you suggest that I do? She's like, like I said, I'm very sorry for your, um, for the inconvenience, blah, blah. I'm like, but you're not, you're not doing nothing to help the situation and you can. Like y'all are supposed to be higher up. You can do something and you're going to do something. And I started feeling like a little, <laughs> a little conviction. Because I really, I understood it wasn't her fault. I was just pissed. Like, bro, all this stuff is happening around me. And I'm like trying to keep it together and trying to keep it respectful. But I didn't like get out of character or anything. I did kind of like raise my voice just a little bit. You know, what people be doing to get what they need in customer service. Just a little bit. And she was like, well, um, thank you so much for calling Enterprise. Boop. I was like, I know you lying. This heifer left me here to be stranded. She left me out here in the wind. The hyenas is laughing at me at this point, right? And so I was like, nah, I'm not going to let this go. So I called back. I mean, I ordered an Uber. But I called back. And the lady was like, how, roughly how much money did you spend on Uber? $40. And I'm giving you um, an uh, estimate, right? Because technically 22 and 22 is 48 plus the cents I ain't even add up. I just said $40 because I rounded it down for y'all, okay? And she was like, oh, okay, well, it's going to take a while, like about 48 hours for someone to reach back out to you in regards to a, um, what is it, a refund, reimbursement, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, no problem, but I'm getting my rental tomorrow, so I would love it if that coupon, the coupon, could be applied to my taking away the car tomorrow. You know, I should have said, I don't want to put down a deposit and I want the car period. But that's not how that works because what's the guarantee that I'm going to bring the car back? Anyways, the lady was so nice to me. I calmed down. Not that I was riled up anyway, because even if I was like raising my voice just a little bit, um, I didn't feel like defeated or anything. I feel good. I feel like God's going to work it out. God's going to bless me with my name on it and it's just so funny like i was thinking about giving up my g to get a better one and this happened so maybe god knows everything like i'm about to have a good good up good up new front about to have good up good up tires i'm about to get my uh thermostat about to get my thermostat looked at and i'm good like life is good i'm still gonna give it up everything's gonna go as planned it's just a minor setback for a major comeback but yeah like i said all of that to say this make sure you put aside money for emergencies you never know what can happen in life there are things you genuinely cannot control and the only thing that might help you out of a situation or can help you see a light at the end of the tunnel is having some difference okay so do what you got to do to make that happen.